Hey, everybody. It's Mr. 95 Cents. We're here for Mr. 95 Cent Sport Car Adventures here. We're going to be adventuring into this 2023-24 Don Russ Basketball Box. And we want to get some Wambianis. So you never know. We'll see what happens. Oh, we also have some warehouse finds today. We got prizes. We got card shop stories. It's going to be a, a jam-packed. Geez, probably at least 40-some minutes because this box has got 90 cards in it. And I like to show them all. So, All right. We're going to start with prizes here. Let me get our prizes set up. All right. So, oh, before we do that, I got to shout out all my featured channels down below. I finally caught up, I think. I caught up with everybody's videos pretty much, you know. And now I'm going to start all over again because I know by the time I, I get to the end, th there's more to watch. So... But they're very entertaining. It's, it, I'm in heaven here. I, I go through the cards, do my thing, while I listen to nice sport card videos. So check them out down below. A lot of good featured channels down there. All right. We're going to go for the prizes. We've got, for first out of the box, the 2021 Topps Chrome Pack. Second out of the box, we got the 1977 76 Record Breaker Nolan Ryan card. Third out of the box, we got a 1977 Kellogg's 3D Superstars, Ken Griffey Sr. Right there. And fourth out of the box, I made a mistake on this one. I thought it was Tony Gwynn the Tony Gwynn. It does say Tony Gwynn on it. But it's really a, a anniversary Tony Gwynn Jr. I forget who told me. I, I, it might have been Jay's Mix. Told me that they tried to fool you on this one. I don't know. But it don't say Tony Gwynn Jr. even on the front or the back. So, I don't know. All right, here we go. We got a lot of names in there. We're going to mix them up. Hand mix them first. All right, okay. We're going to shake it up. All right, okay. Let me get my prizes down here. All right, good luck to everybody. Here we go. We're going for the pack first. Oh, I got two tickets in my hand. Here comes one. The winner of the pack, Jimmy Lakari. Jimmy, hey, Jimmy. You got a winner there. Hopefully there's a winner in that pack. All right. Second out of the box, the Nolan Ryan. All right, I'm going in here. There it comes. Oh, four of the poles. Oh, you got a nice card there. Four of the poles. Some vintage baseball for Steve. All right, we got that. This is a nice card. You don't see, and it's in good shape. Like I said, you don't. You see a lot of them cracked. This one don't have any cracks on it. All right, for the Griffey. Oh, I think I got two tickets there. I got to separate them. Here they come. Oh, red rum. Hey, red rum, Josh. All right, he's got the Griffey coming, and the Tony Gwynn surprise card. It's really Tony Gwynn Jr. All right. Who's getting that one? All right, here, right here. Oh, Callie and Jordan. Callie and Jordan. David. All right, there we go. All right, so that's our four winners for this video. All you got to do is be a subscriber and comment on this video. And on Saturday, we're going to give away some other prizes that we'll show you at the end of this video. All right, we're going to go right to warehouse finds here. I'm processing like crazy, but while I'm, while I'm listening to the featured channels. And uh, we found some, what, football first here. Barry Sanders. All right, so this is from uh, Tops. Jeez, I can't tell the year. Looks like 2013 Tops. We got a Barry Sanders Mini. Hey, right, we got some Barry Sanders to start off the show. Oh, these were nice. The Topps Football Finest Limited Edition Barry Sanders. Now, they were from 92, I think. 92. So, these these were actually some of the first finest cards. Yeah. That's an insert. We got a Football Heroes Barry Sanders from Upper Deck. We got an Upper Deck NFL Scrapbook Barry Sanders. Oh, everybody remember. Well, the old timers remember these. The Game Breakers. 
Barry Sanders, the holographics. He was one of the better holographics to get. Oh, we got Dak Prescott. We got his uh, Panini Prism draft pick rookie. Draft Pre Dak Prescott. We got, oh, this is a nice one. We got the uh, Optic rated rookie Prescott. We got a uh, score, Men of Autumn, Dak Prescott. We got a Ticketmaster, and that's uh, from Rookies and Stars, Dak Prescott. And we got some Jerry Goff coming up here. We got a uh, 2016 Classic Rookie of Jerry Goff. This is a nice shiny card. It's a Prism Rookie Introductions, Jared Goff. We got a Prestige Worldwide. Now, that's when they play in London, like Jared Goff. We got a Don Russ rated rookie of Jared Goff. We've got a score rookie of Jared Goff. A lot of Jared Goff rookies here. We've got the optic rated rookie of Jared Goff. Oh, now we get some Drew Brees. This is a uh, parallel, I believe. It's a score franchise blue, Drew Brees. We get the some of the stuff blue on air. And this is an interesting card. Team trios from Absolute. Alvin Kamara, Drew Brees, and Michael Thomas. All three of them. And here is this one. This is a 2009 Bowman Chrome Refractor of Drew Brees. And we got a Panini. What's this from? Okay, it's an insert from Panini. Legend for uh, John Elway. It's a Father's Day card. Okay, I see it on the back from 2012. All right. Oh, we got some baseball. Oh, look at this. We're starting out with some older Mets. 1983 Mets from Fleer. <laughs> For all you Met fans out there, we got a Ron Hodges. There's a whole bunch of them, so get ready. Brian Giles. Carlos Diaz. Yubi Brooks, Neil Allen, Pete Falcone, Ellis Valentine, Ed Lynch. Oh, there's Dave Kingman. <laughs> Brian Giles, another Hodges. We got a Mike Jorgensen, Craig Swan. Got a Tom Verizer. Oh, Mike Scott, he was a pretty good pitcher. I don't know if I showed Yubi Brooks yet. And Wally Backman. What a team. <laughs> oh, okay. And then we got some. Oh, these are. Okay. We found more of these Oback cards, the TriStar Obacks. Does it say the year on them? I don't think it even has a year on them. Yeah, 2011. And let's see. We got, that's, oh, that's mostly old baseball players. Some doubles, though. Okay, we got nice old back Rizzuto. We got a Sammy Ball. So he's a member of the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Let's see what it says about him on the back. Multi-sport. A member of the Pro Football Hall of Fame, Ball's pro athletic career began as a baseball minor leaguer for the Cardinals. It was during his baseball career when he earned a nickname Slingin' Sammy. Wow. I didn't know that. Get another Rizzuto. It's always good to have a couple extra Yankees. Ike Boom. I wonder if he's the... Uh, 
like grandfather, great grandfather of like Bob Bourne then. Okay, that's a double. Oh, I remember this guy, Moose Scourin. He played for the Yankees. Got a Johnny Vandermeer. Oh, this guy, Wally Pip. You, you guys are not familiar with Wally Pip. He he was the guy I believe that uh, got sick. He was a good player. He got sick. Gehrig came in and took over for the rest of his life. <laughs> I believe it was Wally Pip. And this is an unusual card. It's Dave DeBusher playing baseball instead of playing like basketball for the Knicks. So it says he played for uh, the White Sox. The Busher was named as one of the 50 greatest basketball players of all time and inducted into the Basketball Hall of Fame in 1983. The well-rounded athlete was also signed in 62 by the, the White Sox, where he played in 62 and 63. They was uh, one of only 12 athletes that have played in the NBA and AMLB. That's crazy. I never knew that either. I'm learning things. So you learn things through cards. <laughs> Oh, I remember this guy. This guy played in like six or seven different generations. It's a Topps Heritage uh, Mini Minoza flashback. Mini Minoza. We got a Just Miners rookie card of Alex Gordon. He was a pretty good player for the Royals. We got a Topps opening day insert of Tom Seaver. Oh, this was nice. This is the uh, Decade Dynasties from Upper Deck 70s of Seaver with the little uh, World Series trophy. That's a cool card. Uh, we found a, uh, one of these pros set from 1983, Babe Ruth's. The Action Pack. Oh, wow. I think this is a 64. 60, no, 63. 63. 1963 World Series Game 5. Tom Tresh Homer defeats the Giants. Yeah, that's from 1963. Oh, we got a 665. 1965 American League 1964 strikeout leaders. Hal Downing, Camilio Pasquale, and Dean Chance. And if you don't remember, some of you younger guys, Al Downing is the guy they gave up Hank Aaron's record-breaking home run. I think he might have been playing for the Dodgers then. All right. We got basketball. Oh, boy. And we got some more Michael Jordans. I'm finding a lot of Jordans lately. We got a uh, Upper Deck World of Sports Michael Jordan. We got another Upper Deck World of Sports Michael Jordan. that pile over here separate jordans we got an upper deck uh, the national vip card what year is this from looks like 2011 michael jordan and here's some more from uh, 2012 that's a vip card from the national from 2012 see on the back it has the 2012 National Everything. Yeah, look at that. We got another one. This one's from 2014, from the National VIP. There's two of them. And we got another one from 2012. Oh, this is interesting. There's two of these, wow. And they're different. So they had the upper deck MJ timepieces. There was the regular, and then there was the die cut. Uh, I believe these are from 1998. I can't read it though. But the die cut was numbered to 2300, but that's still pretty good back then. And they're, they're sharp looking cards. They're not easy to get either. Here we got another one, different. 
I thought this was an interesting card. This is from the NBA Jam Session from 92-93 Ultra. So on the front, you got Tim Perry, Dwayne Caswell, Scotty Pippen, uh, Robert Parrish, and Stacey Augman. And on the back, you got Michael Jordan, Carmelone, John Williams, Horace Grant, and Orlando Woolridge. Yeah, that's an interesting card. From 1992-93 Ultra. And we got a couple more Jordans here. This was the Athletes of the Century, uh, the Jordan era, this one is. This was a nice set. It's actually an insert from that set. And then we've got a reg just a regular card from that set also. Oh, looks like we got some Jerry West coming up again. There, Jerry West. We got duplicates on that one. All right, we'll put the duplicate over there. We got a nice uh, Pan uh, Panini Prism Jerry West. The NBA logo. Who I hear, they want to change. I don't know. That's the rumor. They want to put LeBron. <laughs> we got a uh, classic great Jerry West. We got a past and present Jerry West. Got a Topps Treasury Jerry West. And we got a different year Panini Prism Jerry West. That's from 2013-14. We got a Rookies and Stars Jerry West. And a Topps Tip-Off Jerry West. And what are these? Okay, we got... Oh, these are the uh, the top set that came out. The uh, top 75th anniversary. It's a sample of all the sets they ever made. And some of these are... most of These are mostly non-sport, the ones I have here. And they are very interesting. We got a... The Get Smart card. I used to watch that. Oh, Planet of the Apes, we got. That's the original Planet of the Apes. Oh, here he is. I'll be back, the Terminator. That's from Terminator 2, they made a card set for. Uh, we got Star Trek. See, a lot of us that collected just sports cards don't realize Tops made a lot of different stuff. They made RoboCop. And these are really nice cards. They're almost exact duplicates, except for the logo thing in the corner. See, it says 75th up there. Oh, the Brady Bunch. <laughs> oh, this is one of my favorite shows, the Beverly Hillbillies. <laughs> Granny. We got Back to the Future. This is Back to the Future 2. They actually have the year on the back, too. Oh, Jaws 2. So they actually put the year on the back. This is from 1978. That's when they put those cards out. Oh, the Green Hornet from 1966. That's when they put the originals out. Oh, Charlie's Angels. And what's this one? Fast Frank. Oh, this is from Weird Wheels from 1980. Yeah, that's a lot, a lot of different cards in that set. That's a unique set. Uh, and that's my warehouse finds. All right, we're going to have a little... Oh, wait, I got a couple more things here on the side. I forgot. So I found this uh, Welcome to Philly, Bryce Harper. Like, it's like a set. I almost forgot this stuff. And I I haven't seen, I mean, I forgot I had it, I guess, but I ain't seen this thing. I didn't remember this at all. It's from 2019. And, yeah, it's a set of 20 cards. 
and it's uh, all different Bryce Harper cards. I'll just show you a few. Eh. That's nice. So they welcomed to Philly, him to Philly with his own set. All right. That's interesting. Okay, put that over there. And then I found this. This is a 1984 Hoyle Products uh, Pocket Trivia Series 5 Sports Trivia Game. Two or more players. Let me see. 848 questions and answers. Age 12 and up. So let me open her up. Here we go. All right. So it's all sealed up. I don't want to unseal it. I must have put a price on that. I don't know if it's still $50 this was going for when I looked it up, whenever that was. It could have been 20 years ago. Yeah, so that's what you do. It's all trivia. Oh, well, I, I see already some I can answer. What baseball player played? This is this is a, just some sample questions they put on the back. What baseball player played in 2,130 consecutive games? What is Walt Chamberlain's nickname? In what city is the Olympic torch lighted to start each Olympics? I, I would probably almost ace this thing, but that's all right. That's why I don't in, I don't enter too many trivias or nothing like that because that's all I do is sports, so I know a little bit about it. But that's an interesting thing. All right, and there's our warehouse finds. Okay, we're going right to card shop stories. So I had another story I was going to say. I can put it off to another day. Somebody mentioned in the comments uh, last video, Bob Bob's Collectibles, uh, and I believe he meant Hackettstown. There is another Bob who's a great guy. He's got a shop not too far from here, but it's not called Bob's. Well, a lot of people call it Bob's, but it's not technically named Bob's. It's uh, something like R&S Collectibles or something like that. And he's got a great little shop over there where he takes care of a lot of collectors. So if anybody's in that area, check him out. Bob's Collectibles, though, I don't believe is open anymore. Uh, and I know Bob's not around anymore. Bob was a great guy. And uh, at, he, he's, I haven't seen him or he's been gone for a long time. Uh, so... The one collector in here mentioned it, and uh, it spurred a lot of great memories. Bob used to come into town. He was in Hackettstown, New Jersey. That's where he had his first store. And he, uh, it's not that close to here. It's probably a good half hour, 40 minutes, something like that. <clears throat> and uh, he used to come into town, because uh, we got a pretty big town, you know, there's a lot of stuff going on in town here. We got the hospital, the courthouse, everything. He used to come into town at least once every month or two and always visit the store when I was in Morristown and then in Morris Plains a little bit. Uh, so I remember he was older than me. He was probably, I bet you, a good 10 years older than me. And uh, he came in and he would, he would actually buy, I would sell him stuff. I sold a lot of store stuff, you know. I sold a lot of store stuff. I had a lot of inventory. Even though my store wasn't that big, I had always had a warehouse. <laughs> so as we started off with a 10 by 20 warehouse, I had like a storage unit, and then that exploded and it went into a bigger one. But uh, they would get singles for me because I always had a lot of singles. <clears throat> and this way they didn't have to open too much to take care of everybody. Like Yankees, I, I've been trading with my buddy in, in the Michigan area for 30 years. So I would send him Detroit. He would send me New York stuff. So I always had a lot of New York stuff. A couple of the guys I traded with too. I'm still trading with my buddy in Detroit. Uh, but Bob was a fantastic guy. He ran a nice shop. Very fair, honest guy. Uh, but I remember when he was getting ready pretty much to retire. Uh, I believe his son took over the store and then moved it out even further out west somewhere, and I can't remember exactly. I want to say maybe like the Ogdensburg area or the Hope area, 
uh, which is actually quite a bit more west. So, uh, and I lost track of them. Uh, I believe Bob passed away. I did hear that, I believe. Uh, but uh, I remember when he came to the store, when he was, you know, fixing to retire. And he says, well, I'm giving my son, you know, control of the store, but I have all this wax home. Uh, he saved a lot of wax. And he had some good stuff too, you know. I remember one of the better things he had was the 93 uh, Upper Deck SP, you know, with the chance for Jeter rookies, which back then was going for a lot of money. It probably still was going for a lot of money. Because, uh, you know, to get a brand new box of that stuff and open it up, hopefully you get a card you can grade 9 or 10, you know, maybe, you know, so... Uh, so he want to know what he what I think about how to get rid of that. So I bought some of it from him, but you know back then I had limited money. Uh, he had a lot, so he ended up going doing a few shows. He sold that. He sold out like in the first two or three shows. He told me because he had good prices too. You know, uh, he sold out in the first two or three shows, uh, and uh, that was pretty much it. He was helping out at his son's store a little bit, but pretty much retired. You know, which is nice. Uh, so that brought me on to another subject, which I'm going to swing into. Uh, because I thought about, as I'm thinking, my, my stupid brain. I used to supply this one. I used to supply that one. There was a store in Ledgewood, which is not that far from here, 20 minutes maybe, that I used to supply. I was in a mall. The guy, the guy that owned it used to come in all the time and uh, buy mostly Yankee stuff, you know, Yankees, Giants, that kind of stuff. And I used to sell that stuff for, I used to sell Jeters for a dollar a piece, you know. So I had a customer. Oh, gee, she was a customer for a long time. Grammy. And she used to bring her grandson in. And uh, she came from, actually a little further from where this store was, she used to come all the way to see me, you know, and I, she was actually originally from town, so she knew some relatives of mine, and that's probably a good reason why she came to my store too, but, uh, you know, I had the good prices too, so, and and she was always very pleasant, Grammy, uh, but, and she was always very nice, except this one day, this one fella from the Ledgewood store He's going through my boxes, picking out stuff to buy. And all of a sudden, I hear her say, what are you doing, buying here and charging us triple? And the guy turns around and she goes, yeah, that's right. I don't buy from your store because your Jeters are $5. She goes, I, now I got your trick. She says, you buy them from Mr. 95 Cents for a dollar and you charge us $5 up there. You should be ashamed ripping off the kids and all this kind of stuff. So I, it, it was funny. You know, it was funny. Uh, oh, Grammy, let him have it. You know. So I said, oh, that's that's why you come here. She said, well, I know your cousin too. I said, yeah, I know. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, Grammy, uh, she's still around. I believe she's in a nursing home not too far from here. Uh, that's the last I heard. Uh, and she's still on Facebook, so that's good. You know, as far as I know, she's still around. You know, it's funny she uh, and a little bit disappointing. And, and I, I don't know if he's going to hear this, but because sometimes he watches my stuff. Her grandson, who she took care of all his life, pretty much as soon as she got older and sicker, I guess they threw her in a nursing home, and he went out west someplace he's living. I thought that was kind of a shame, but what are you going to do? But Grammy's still kicking as far as I know, so she's still doing good. And that's my card shop story. It, it's funny how something enters the brain and it expands. <laughs> so once in a while, my brain expands. Not that often. All right. So, oh, we're going to go to the box break. Here we go. Got a lot of cards. This might be a longer video because we're already at about 30 minutes and I didn't even open the box yet. All right. Let's see. All right. Oh, so let's read it before I rip it open. 90 cards per box. Look for autographs in signature series. 15 cards per pack. Six packs per box of 
They have a lot of cards in them. Uh, blaster exclusive. Hollow orange lasers, hollow purple lasers, and hollow red and blue laser parallels. The iconic rated rookies featuring the game's hottest young stars. All right. So we're looking for Wembiani, I guess. I don't know who else. I haven't watched a basketball game yet. Probably won't. Until at least the playoffs, maybe. All right. I'm busy watching my nephews play hockey. <laughs> I used to watch a lot of basketball. They just sort of turned me off with all that political garbage, you know? Now, when I watch sports, I don't like to see politics. What can I say? All right, wish me a little luck. We won't, we're not going to get no Wembyani autographs, but maybe we'll get Wembyani. Let's see. All right, I got Emmanuel Quickly. I got a Chris Paul. A Kevin Durant. They got a Devontae Graham. Malcolm Brogdon. Oh, is this a parallel or something? No. It's just the way they colored the card. We got a Patrick Beverly. A rated rookie of Jaros Walker. I got an upside down card. Let's see what it is. Ooh. I like these. These laser cards. I got a green laser Malcolm Brogdon. They're nice cards. Franchise features. Amen, Thompson, rookie. Amen. Get a Jeremy Grant. We got a John Collins. A Luka Doncic. A Kelly Obrey Jr. A Jabari Walker. And a Grant Williams. That cards look okay. You know, they got a little bit of stats on the back. And the lasers look good. Yeah, the lasers are always looking good. That's a good touch they added. Gordon Hayward. Clint Capella. Got a Taylor Horton Tark Tucker. Got a Cameron Payne. Got a Stephen Curry. And a Seth Curry right behind there. All right, we got a rated rookie, Tristan Vukovic. Uh, we got a, another laser. We got a Tyrese Maxey laser. That's nice. We got a Magician's Kyrie Irving. That's a nice insert. Got a Bojan Badanovic. EJ Liddell. A Jonathan Kaminga. Kyle Kuzma. Ben Simmons. And we got Zion. There he goes. I gotta, I gotta watch some Zion. I like him. Is he playing? I don't even know. Yeah, I, I, I'm busy all the time. It's crazy. I'm working on cards. By the time I finish all day long, basically working sports, when I go watch TV, I usually watch something else. You know, break up my uh, sport thing a little bit. We got a Dejounte Murray. A Davion Mitchell. A Scotty Barnes. Oh. Luke is here already. Is it time? Tobias Harris. Got a Christian Wood. A Malik Monk. We got an Anthony Black rated rookie. Hold on. Let me move these papers so if he wants to sit down. Put him over here. All right. All right, let's see. Devonta Graham laser. There we go. We got a Chianti George, great expectations rookie. Come on in, come on in. I'm doing the video. Sit down and relax. I'm doing the video. Are you early or am I late? I'm a little bit early. Okay. Well, I start a little bit late. Here we go. Jason Tate. I'm trying to get Wemby. I don't get no Wemby yet. Jalen Brown. Luke's here. Hey, guys. Hey, what's going on? <laughs> we got a Clay Thompson. Simone Fondaccio. Benedict Maturin. And we got Joel Embiid. So, I don't get nothing spectacular yet. I still got three packs to go, though. They give you 90 cards. Yeah. Did you open yours? Yeah. Did you get anybody? 
Oh, I did get a one banana. All right. It was a uh, insert rookie, but eh, something. At least it was a uh, rookie of him. Yeah. Let's see, because he's probably not that easy to get. There's not that many rookies in it. I mean, it was two or three a pack, maybe. Mm -hmm. All right, we got a Walker Kessler, a, a Raihuchi Maria. Oh, here's a, we got a, a Matisse Thiebel, Tim Hardaway Jr. We got a Jalen Williams. We got Przingis. Okay, here's our rated rookie. It's Brandon Miller. And we got a laser, Jared Vanderbilt. He's a Laker here. Mm -hmm. Is he any good? I don't know. We got the franchise feature, Steph Curry. That ain't bad. Got DeAndre Jordan. So they give you like a rated rookie and maybe a rookie insert in every pack. That's about it. Mm -hmm. We got a Norman Powell. Contavious Caldwell Pope. We got a D'Angelo Russell. He likes the Lakers. But if if I get a Wolf Chamberlain, I'm keeping it. <laughs> Unless I get double. Sadiq Bey or Shaquille. Yeah. He's my favorite. I don't know if he's in the set, though. Pascal Siakam. From what I can tell, it's all current, guys. No, nah, no old timers. Yeah, old -timers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are they going to do? I like the old timers. We've got Jose Alvarado. I did get his eye on, though. Yeah. Quentin Grimes. We got a Joe Kick. We got a. Rudy Goldberg, Kyle Lowry, Brandon Ingram. We got a Ben Shepard rated rookie. Oh, this might be good. It's a big player. Kevin Durant, laser. That's nice. Kevin Durant, laser. Oh, then I got something that's unusual. Did you get one of these? I got one of those, yeah. I got a nice bomb squad, Jason Tatum. Those are nice cards. Mm -hmm. I got a Jeremy... Sokin, or whatever his name is. I got a De'Aaron Fox. A Bruce Brown. A Donovan Mitchell. A Jason Tatum. And a Carl Anthony Towns. He's over here. Ooh. So not, that was a pretty good pack. Mm -hmm. Between the Durant and the Bomb Squad. But I got one more pack left to get one Bionni. I don't know. I know in the hoops boxes, you either got two or three or you got nothing. <laughs> All right, we got a Chris Duarte, last pack. Kyrie Irving, Colin Sexton. We got a Jimmy Butler, Jake LaRavia. We got a Terrence Mann. Oh, I did. There you go. Oh, look at that. <laughs> I got a Wembiani. <laughs> I got lucky. <laughs> oh, we got a Jordan. Oh, is this guy any good? Jordan Miller? I've never heard of him. Nice laser rated rookie. Not bad. Maybe. You never know. I got a Kawhi Leonard complete players. I got a Jalen Brunson. Oh, Red will be happy I got that one. We got a Bogdan Bogdanovich. We got a Marvin Bagley. A Cole Anthony. A Duncan Robinson and a Jalen Williams. So I did good. I got one Bianni. He'll probably sell for ten dollar. <laughs> I think we just sold one. No, it was one in my pocket. We just sold. Hold on. I picked some mail today already out here because we just we didn't sort it yet. I did sell on eBay. I kept one of the hoops ones. I think I got three out of the one box. I sold the insert. I got twelve ninety five. Not right. bad. <laughs> Paid for half the box. There you go. Just about. So, yeah, that box, I got that box on Target for, uh, I think, twenty four ninety nine plus tax. So, not bad. So, as long as you get them for 30 bucks or less, they're not bad. I, 90 cards, they give you a lot of cards. And you got a chance for Wembiani, and I don't know who else is. Uh, anybody else a hot rookie? Not really hot this year. No, not yeah. yet anyway. Maybe somebody will come later. Yeah. We'll see. But I saw Wembiani on... on uh, I think it was on Instagram. Somebody had a video. That guy's tall. Oh, yeah. He was wearing a big cowboy hat, too. Made him look even taller. So, and that, that's our box break. That's it. All right, we're going to close. Because what uh, Luke's got to go to work on his computer here. So, 
If you comment on this video and you're a subscriber, next video you get a chance for these prizes. First out of the box, we got an NBA Player of the Day pack from 2019-20. That's a chance for Morant and Zion and all them guys. Yeah. That's a good pack. We got, I took this out of the Jordan stuff. We got the Topps Archive card. I believe these are from, ooh, what year are they from? I can't see. They're from the 90s. I know that. Michael Jordan card. And there you go. Third out of the box, we got the, uh, this guy's actually doing pretty good, I heard. We got a, a mosaic. It's a green mosaic prism rookie card of Kobe White. And fourth out of the box, we got the status symbols, numbered out of 149, Allen Iverson card. So we got some pretty good prizes for next time. All you got to do is comment on this video and be a subscriber and... On Saturday, you might win one of them prizes. All right, we're getting ready to close it up. Oh, oh, I think John M. pointed out to me that both shows, because I don't do shows during the, the winter time, and the show I definitely would have done would be uh, Sob, Sobby's show. Both times it snowed. So he said, boy, you're right on with those that snow prediction. I said, I didn't predict nothing. But I just don't do shows in the winter. I'm going to start back again in April. It's April 7th, that's the first show. Uh, so, I hope Zombies March show, there's no snow, even though I'm not doing it. All right. Uh, don't forget our eBay. We're Sports PG on eBay and on COMC. We got a great store on there, Mr. Nine Five Cents. All right. Thanks a lot for tuning in, everybody. And don't forget, collect what you like, because if it goes up or down, you still like it. And Try not to buy a box for more than 120 because what we're getting out of this stuff ain't usually worth 120 I've been watching guys open jumbo boxes of tops, and they're lucky that they get some of them. Are get, uh, a lot of them. I ain't seen a box that's worth more than 50 bucks yet, but anyway. So, and I think they're going for like 170 or something. So, try to keep a little bit lower, you know, because it's mass produced. <laughs> All right. Take care, everybody. Say hello. Say goodbye. We got to say goodbye. We'll see you later. Take care.